I'm Lynn Donald. I'm a teacher of, for visual impairment in Highland Region. Um, I visit children aged three up to school leaving age and go into nurseries, primaries, secondaries and special schools. Because I'm a travelling peripatetic teacher and going into different special schools, I often don't meet children very often. And so, especially those with complex needs, I find it really important to build a rapport with those children. And sometimes that's quite difficult to do when you're only seeing them once every few weeks and you don't know how their communication works or how best to interact with them. So that, that can be particularly challenging. I hope to get out of today some kind of strategies I could use when communicating with children with visual impairment and complex needs so that when I'm visiting special schools or, or indeed mainstream schools where I've got pupils with complex needs that I can learn ways to build my rapport with them um, so that when I'm doing assessment of vision that I can start to build that communication into the assessment and learn little ways of connecting with them to make the assessment process easier. Yes, I feel it was a very good use of my time uh, for more than one reason. Um, it gives me an opportunity first to also mix with colleagues that work in visual impairment and quite often what comes from the course is lots of conversation and sharing of experiences which is really helpful to take back because quite often you learn from others, not just the presenters of the course, but also the fact that the, the presenters have a lot of experience and show through a lot of video clips some of the interactions they've had with pupils and it, it, a lot of it is stuff I can use when I'm working with my children with complex needs and building that communication. I think what I'd put in practice from the course would first of all um, give myself more time to work with pupils. I think there's a tendency to feel a bit of pressure when you're going out to do assessment of vision, especially with children with cerebral visual impairment, to get out there and start writing your assessment, working with the children and producing a report that staff can use straight away. And I think what I've learned initially is I maybe need a bit more time for observation perhaps more time to video, uh, video and observe the pupil, just how they are in their environment in the classroom before maybe I start to work on the communication and then begin to build up a picture of how best to do that. Um, so that's probably the key thing I've learned today.